Okay guys, we got another video from Lawrence Academy Screencasts. Today we're going to talk about word problems, and specifically volume word problems. Now when tackling word problems, there's a few things we want to keep in mind. The first is, we have to read the problem. And while we're reading, we want to make sure we know what the question is asking us, we want to mark up the problem, and we want to know what's important. Make sure we know those things before we start solving the problem. After we've read the problem, we want to put a picture to the words. We want to create a diagram. Draw an image that is given to you from the word problem. So you have a visual representation of the problem at hand. After we've read the problem clearly, we know what it's asking, we've marked it up, we've found out what's important, we've created our diagram, then we can begin solving the problem. We don't want to rush things though. We really need to do those first two steps. So here we have our first example. It's pretty simple, but we'll do it and we'll get the idea of the type of work we need to do to solve a word problem. So the question is as follows. Find the volume of a prism measuring 7 meters along each edge of the base and 12 meters tall. Okay, so let's mark this up and find what's important. Okay, so we're finding volume. We've got a prism. Now this prism measures 7 meters along each edge of the base and 12 meters tall. All right, that sounds pretty good. I know i got to find the volume of this specific shape. So let's draw the shape and get an idea of what it looks like. So it's a rectangular prism. I know what that is. So I'm going to sketch one of those quick. All right. I know that um, it's 7 meters along each base. So I can put a 7 meters there, 7 meters there. And I know that it's 12 meters tall. Now all i got to do is find the volume of that shape. So I have to remember my volume for or my volume equation for a rectangular prism, and that is V equals base times height. Now the base in this case is going to be the 7 times the 7, and the height in this case is going to be the 12 meters. So volume is going to equal 7 times 7 times 12. I can attack this in pieces and say 7 times 7 is 49. 49 times 12, I might need a calculator for that. But I can find out that it's 588. And then the units, I need to put them back in. Meters, and it's volume, so it's meters cubed. And that's how you solve a word problem like this. So we did one example together, and I want you to try this one on your own, okay? Remember, read the problem, mark it up, find out what's important, don't forget to draw a diagram, and then use all that information to find out what the question's asking you to do. All right, good luck. I'll see you guys tomorrow.